Kaimas here and I have the Mastrop Focal LX with me today. Now these are interesting because I was in San Francisco just after the release of the original Utopias and Elia and the Utopias are now my, my main go-to headphones and I was at a uh, meet at the Wikia head for headquarters for HeadFi and uh, not only did I get to try the new Focal headphones but I got to meet Will Bright of Mastrop and he told me about the adventures he had, you know, starting up a company where he originally tried to bulk buy headphones and resell them. But now he's moved way on from there and he's working with, you know, a lot of manufacturers to, uh, you know, buy their good products in bulk and with feedback from various communities such as EDC, you know, audiophile community, uh, there are fashion communities and what have you. I wouldn't even know half the communities that are on there now. And... Uh, that's worked out really well for me. This is actually a shirt I bought through Mastrop from an, an obscure manufacturer. There's a pointer shirt. And I would have never even known about this company, let alone, you know, considered buying something like this. And, and uh, I'm the kind of person, if you've probably already seen in my videos, I'm the kind of person that go, mm, I'm going to buy a t-shirt. Maybe I'll buy a few of them. What color should I buy? Mm, red, blue, no, no. Uh, stuff it, I'll just buy black. And it's like bags, t-shirts, everything. Well, yeah, you see what I mean? Black. Black. I'm just the kind of person who would just buy matte black suits me fine. So that the kind of <laughs> the coincidence of this is pretty funny. So the LX will co contacted me and said uh, we're making this LX and and the deal is it's um, the uh, people the feedback is that people like the LER. It's got good base extension. The drivers in these being metal drivers are are really fantastic and they really take things up a level for a, for a standard dynamic driver. And but the there are a couple of things that people didn't like about the LER. For example. The the basic you know they're a bit thick sounding you know the 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 tuning could have been a, uh, maybe a touch more neutral, and uh, the, you know the comfort you know the comfort with the, uh, the the stock pads was maybe not quite as good as they could be. They're a little bit on the heavy side, four hundred and fifty grams. Uh, it hasn't bothered me. It seems to bother some people. Take it or leave it. But since Focal released the clear. Now, it turns out if you put clear pads on an LER that you get a bit of a tuning difference. And people have been pad swapping around these headphones for a while. But they worked with Focal to do it. They changed the damping slightly, so it's not just a pad change. But they put the clear head pad and uh, the a variation of the uh, clear ear pads on, on the LX. And what's more, that bulky kind of rubbery cable. Now, my, my Utopias came with that bulky rubbery cable as well. Uh, they've changed it out with a clear cable. Now, I don't have the actual cable they're going to have here. I only have this little sample they gave me because they were really pressed, they're really pressed for time to sort this out. But it's they have a matching cable. This is the clear cable, if you haven't already noticed. Uh, the clear cable is called black and white. The actual cable they're going to use is the same uh, physically, except for the color is going to be this nice black and gray color. But otherwise, they've, they've basically got... The, the better bits. And the only thing they've missed out of the clear is you don't get the nice fancy carrying case, you get the uh, original LER box. But overall, with this, this nice matte black color scheme, you know, everything is black. Just like the old Henry Ford joke, uh, you can have any color you want as long as it's black. So, with that, that's they've produced the LX, and at $799, that seems to be, they're hitting right in that point between the $500 to $1,000 mark where I think a lot of headphones are entering, in, entering into that, that space. You know, you've got Mr. Speakers with Eon. Uh, and Eon Flow and the Eon Flow Open, and we have there's a hi-fi men in there. I have to double check the price, but uh, I gather, gather that listed there's at least one good hi-fi man planer in there. So it's going to be quite a hotly contested market for people who want you know a high-end headphone without spending over a thousand dollars. So with that, I was really glad to check them out. And sound-wise, well, short answer, baby Utopia. Now uh, that means a fairly neutral sound signature, maybe a little bit on the light side. But the thing that is about them is they have a nice open, spacious sound. You know, there's a good amount of treble there, but not too much. It doesn't overdo it. Like if I, it's going to be a really nice match with acoustic music, for example. But if you do have tracks that come on and I listen to a, a very eclectic mix of music, then anything with, uh, you know, a little bit, bit stronger in the treble is still going to sound really, really good. And it's got that really clear treble that the Focal cans are, are really known for. Uh, the mid-range isn't forward, it isn't too forward. For example, you know, my, I have the K7XX here. Now, the K7XX, you know, they were really, they're one of the first mass drop, if not the first mass drop, uh, headphones produced with another manufacturer. These, you know, are really kind of upper mid-forward, and you really notice it. And the, you, the, the uh, Utopias are a bit too, but not as much as these are. And so they tend to be a little bit on the base light side. These are a little bit more you know, kind of mids, upper mids uh, are down a bit, so you don't have that kind of forward mid, mids that you get with the uh, the AKG headphones. 
And the bass is where it's really at. The bass is just absolutely fantastic. What it lacks in quantity, there isn't because there isn't too much bass, you think, well, it's going to be a bit too bass light. It really makes up for it in quality. Like the, the detail and precision in the bass is really fantastic. And the sound stage is really wide. And I even, even feels it feels wider, well, easily than Utopia's. So they're really pleasant to listen to, even when you think, well, you know, I could do with a bit more bass thump. And so that I've been finding them, finding them really enjoyable. Of course, you know, I have to, if I start the day off listening, I have to start the day off listening to these because the thing they, of course, lack compared to the Utopias is detail. I still put them on and think that, you know, uh, I'll hear some sound in, a, you know, a good two-channel recording. I've been listening to Michael Hedges lately, and, you know, there's some f fantastic guitar recordings, and he'll shift in his seat or something, and I think the sounds come out from across the room, and I'll kind of look over my shoulder. But those kind of little fine detail sounds are, are kind of, you know, very one note. So you hear a guitar pluck, and, and you know, you can might hear it echo off the walls of the studio, but it's kind of one note. Whereas the Utopia, of course, it is like this all this detail coming this fine detail of the echo and the, the reverberations and all this stuff that comes through. You don't get that ultra-fine detail, at least on my system, with these. But the good thing is they are very sensitive headphones, about 104 decibels per milliwatt. They are 80 ohms, so they drive really easily out of everything. So, you know, my usual little go-to is the, the Mojo, and I think a lot of people have Mojo, so I'll just use that as an example. And out of the Mojo, yeah, fantastic. The Mojo is a very slight touch warm, and it works out really well with the, the, the very present treble with these. Really nice balance there. But if I do take these headphones and plug them into one into the main system, you know, into the, the Studio 6 or, or Master 9 or the, you've got the Solaris here too, then you can hear, you know, especially with the better digital gear, that there's a step up in clarity available. And it's not a huge step up as much as it would be with the Utopias, because, you know, Utopias, you really notice it, but a step up all the same. So they do seem to scale, you know, pretty reasonably well. So my overall impression of them is that they're the kind of headphones that if you want to get an idea of, you know, what a, and kind of, kind of entry-level high-end, if you want to get an idea of what high-end headphones are like, these are a really good example of that. And I think a lot of people will be looking for that. Now, uh, Jude did a comparison with the HD6XX and talked about that. I don't have a 6XX, but I, again, I got the, K, the uh, K7XX. And they're a really distinct jump up from these. So these are kind of sound a little somewhat muffled after listening with these. These sound really clear, open, precise. These sound kind of like mid-forward, muffled, you know, the bass could do with more thump. And talking of that bass, actually, while it is very, very good quality on this, the one disadvantage it has over, say, the clear, even though despite it using all the parts, is that because the driver does roll off in the very deep bass. So while the good old, you know, mid-bass strong tracks like uh, Massive Attack's Angel, one of my favorite, uh, you know, kind of dance tracks from Sophie Tucker, they're all mid-bass and, and, you know, really fantastic detail, really fantastic there, even if it isn't that strong. But I think it's one of my, my test tracks is the new basement tapes, and they have a very, very, very low bass note, I think really well down towards 20 hertz, and that is really rolled off, and you don't get the, the rumble of that that you really need. So there's also some Paul Simon, believe it or not, with some very, very low bass notes as well. So that kind of rumble is not quite miss, is missing in here. So that's the difference. And you notice that on Jude's graphs, and I've only just seen them literally, you know, earlier today. And you'll see that the clear has, uh, you know, the, the very low bass goes higher. So that's the only little really detraction from them. The, the only other thing I noticed was sometimes I felt that the treble was, you know, a tiny bit metallic sounding. And, you know, metal, metal driver, ha, ha, ha. But uh, that was probably the only thing... Other than that, I think they're really excellent headphones. And for someone who doesn't want, say, uh, you know, I really like the Mr. Speaker's Ethers, Ether Flows, but, you know, someone who doesn't want, quite want that thick bass that they have, uh, the thick mid bass, they may, you may really like getting a pair of these because they, they have that open and spacious sound while delivering really delicious bass and uh, really good overall otherwise for the, the, this kind of price point. So I reckon these are going to be a really hot item, and I've already seen... I think I went on there just soon after, not long ago, soon after the uh, release onto the Mass Drop site, and they already had 100, they're already almost filled. If they haven't, by the time you're watching this, they will have filled the, the first thousand orders, like, easily. It just went boom. And so that's been a, you know, really, this is going to be another really fantastic collaboration, and the first one with Focal. So, hi, if, if you can get a pair, yes. Uh, and I've heard a lot of people saying, hey, the Ilya has now come down from $9.99 down to, you know, six, seven, eight hundred dollars or they can get them from various places for the same price. Uh, can you swap a pair of clear pads onto these and get the same, onto a pair of Ilya's and get the same result? 
Now, Will says the damping's been changed slightly compared to the earlier, so you'll probably get a similar result, but not quite, maybe not quite the same. So you could get the parts and you could get almost there, but uh, if you did find the earlier a bit thick, only a, few, a couple of people have said they sold the earlier because they sounded too thick. Well, then these, I think, are the ones maybe for you. So that's the Mass Drop Focal LX.